financial field. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Byron Jones. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now Saquon Barkley, a man who played collegiately here in the Keystone State. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First down, New York. On first down, it's Henry. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run with Henry. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. Brings up second and nine at the Eagles' 30-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And this one is right down the middle. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. First and 10, it's Jackson. He's got his running back, LaDainian Tomlinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. First carry for the five-time Pro Bowler, LaDainian Tomlinson. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Brings up third and three. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Giants three, Eagles nothing. Yo, 
He may try and run for this. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Good for an Eagles. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Tomlin set on first and 10. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. On second down, it's Tomlinson. And fights through one man. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 19 yards the pickup there. Move the chains. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They run with LT. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He was brought down. A gain of three, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second down now, Tomlinson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Brings up third and three. He can run for it, and he will. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Lamar Jackson. Keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with a touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he saw Lamar throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Oh, good return up past the 30. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. First down, Giants. On the counter, it's Henry. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. At the Eagles, 34-yard line. On second down, here's Henry. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. And this one is right down Broadway. 
That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Horton Anderson to kick off. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. From just inside the 20, a short kick. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show him one thing, hit him with something else. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. Give him nine yards on the scramble there, but it does leave him still a few inches shy with third down looming. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Two yards. And then how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. They'll run on first down. Tomlinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 26. A gain there of 21 yards. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. And he checks this one down to LT out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Out of the gun, it's Tomlinson. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Here's Jackson to throw. Forced out to his left. He finds Tomlinson, his running back. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jamal Adams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own three-yard line. 
They'll start on the ground. It's Derek Henry. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. Henry, the ball carrier. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about, does all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. Yeah. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. A first down carry for Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. On second and 11 now. Mahomes, he's going to let it fly. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Mahomes. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. First down, New York. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. First down, New York. Mahomes to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. On first down, Tomlinson. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Field now. Here's Jackson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. 
The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Throwing now is Jackson. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Giants are going to get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. 14, Eagles 7. Following the touchdown, here's Anderson to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. at the line this Philly offense set to go they're down here in a one score game but the time it's a factor but it's not a huge factor right now is it it's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense to go through play sequences and this is what they work on every week in practice usually on a Friday they go over this type of a situation late game situation what are we going to do when we have the opportunity they've called these plays a bunch of times now's their chance to execute them they have the opportunity now here's the execution now Jackson now a desperation throw deep downfield that'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining big play coming up here's third and ten I would expect to see some pressure here the pressure drops off as they'll look to throw flush to his right he's gonna let it fly and that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock Seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Jackson. Open man. It's the longtime Dolphin, Mark Clayton. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Giants are close to finishing off this football game. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Today's final score, Giants 14. 